Hi, welcome to my play series on how to keep. So in our last video, we have seen how to give some user configurations or user parameters. In today's video, we will be seeing how to get clone and add some files so we can work out with our actual root directory where we can add some script files or some codes to our root. So we will be seeing all those stuff uh, in today's video. So without uh, any delay, let's get started. So I do had created a normal git folder and there I created root.git and test.0 oh where test is nothing but uh, a, a git clone I have done earlier and root is nothing but my project folder my main project folder so let's check once again uh, what is inside the root uh, root contains nothing it's just an uh, uh, masterpiece we we where it is and uh, uh, we will be adding scripts to it or projects or project files to it that's it apart from that when you made it as a, a root out what i mean to say is as you made it as a uh, root folder you will be having only these uh, reference objects all those stuff on side that kit so now uh, what we have to do now our root directory is ready now we have to uh, clone it uh, so we need to add some working files to existing root so for that we will be using git clone and uh, give a path root directory path right now uh, my root directory is within that folder so root directory dot git and uh, test fine and the name of your folder or workspace you were we want to work with so I just give it as an test one so it is testing so clone it right now uh, let's go into that test one so if you see here uh, inside the test one yes oh. well, my root directory already had two more files inside that so it's it just came up uh, with that two files uh, so today we will see uh, how to add a root uh, from this uh, folder so apart from this uh, we will be testing git log where we will get some details about uh, the main commits that were done um, where they added those python 1 and 2 files so 1.5 2.5 .5. so that uh, git log uh, commit uh, refers to that particular adding of files or they may be changing of files so right now we are in a new uh, workspace uh, nothing but uh, we have to create our own scripts in order to add it to our root folder so for that uh, right now I'm not going to write any script or anything else I'm just going with the echo statement hello all and I am just uh, writing this echo statement to a particular file so we already had uh, one and two right one dot pi and two dot pi so I am creating it up over three dot pi uh, so if I check here it just gave me out three dot file now my workspace contained three files so two came or uh, two files came from my root directory where someone is already added uh, now i just created uh, a my own script and uh, which is in, inside my workspace so till now it is just was created by me well uh, inside my workspace but it was not recognized by my kit so you can know that by getting the status of that so when you check the git status inside your workspace uh, then it will show you out what are the files that you have uh, created and which are not recognized by your git so which is nothing but the tracking files we call uh, untracked files so, so 3.py was just created inside the workspace but it is not recognized by our git so in order to make it uh, in order to git uh, need to recognize it what we will do is we will add it 
uh, we will add we will make use of add command and uh, we will give uh, out uh, the name of the file you need to add so at the time uh, it will uh, add it will add your file to the staging area staging area from your workspace to stage area where uh, you your kit recognizes that in saying uh, okay uh, in workspace there is a file name with 3.py and it was in the stage area stage area is nothing but just a, like a waiting area uh, so it, it until you commit it doesn't go inside your repository oh, now you can check the git status so here it see uh, uh, they have given changes uh, with the commit uh, uh, like a new file was created that is nothing but three dot five so in order to push uh, if you want to push uh, this file into the root directory what we need to do is we need to push this inside our repo nothing nothing but uh, uh, basically uh, our workspace when you're working with the git clone our workspace will be divided into three parts so uh, think like this is our one part where you are this is called as workspace workspace where you will be adding all your codes so when you add the workspace after that you need to uh, move all your codes to one area and we call that area as a stage area or staging area all your codes will be moved to this yeah, this is okay so think like uh, we have created 3.py right dot pi uh, when you make use of that add that add will sh make sure that your three dot pi is added into stage area after staging uh, if you want to push that file into your master or root directory project directory then we need to commit it so when you commit it what happens means uh, it will create you out a repo a git repository just like our master directory you will be having a git repo once you commit the code so here what we will do is we will make use of commit uh, then once we commit that our repo will be created that means actually our file comes from uh, 3.py our workspace to uh, our repository github repository which is inside our system only then you can make use of push uh, uh, so command in order to move this repository files so whatever the files that you added right now we added 3.py so we can push this 3.py into our root directory root directory is somewhere else right now it is in our system but think like it is a centralized system which is installed or you got it from somewhere else uh, then if you, you make use of git push it will directly throw you a, a new file or new code into that particular area so right now we are done with this staging uh, there you can see here this file so you, you in order to push this uh, what we have to do is we need to commit it up so we can make use of commit statement and hyphen and uh, you need to give one message what type of code is written so others who is working on uh, same project will be knowing about what are the new files that came out from uh, and what type of uh, a uh, note you have given so with by reading the note they can understand okay this file uh, the script works with this scenario so this kind of work is done by the script and they can uh, think of making use of that or they will go with a new one so right now i'm just uh, making sure that this is just a three dot pi added from user two that means i, I just uh, uh, created one more this created one more clone and i am adding the 
files from that clone right i previously i do had uh, one already built a test where i added one and two files the same procedure was followed over there also in fact in this we uh, we just created a three dot file and we are adding this to our report so when we do that so here it's saying just created mode 1660 and the file has changed now we successfully done the commit so right now our workspace file 3.py was moved to staging and staging to repo successfully now you can see here you can make use of git status uh, it is not showing we do not have any other files to push so right now we can make use of a push a command git push command directly so if you make use of git push command then it will push your code to that root directory because we cloned that root directory if we cloned this uh, test one from by using root directory so it will be internally having so how to go or find out that uh, main root directory with the tools uh, now what i'm doing is i'm just showing you up the root directory and the git log inside the git log so you can see here uh, we do have only one log area in this so if i made a su successful push inside the, that root i will be having two uh, log directories uh, saying that there was a new entry for this uh, 3.py with the commit message i have given so for that i'm just simply pushing it up uh, now it got successfully inserted or uh, pushed into my root directory so we can check that it here oh sorry the same console and this is the root right git log oh uh, git log so here you can see the one more uh, new commit came up with the new a uh, number like 1315 so you can see 3.py added from the user 2 now a new file is added from the user 2 so this is how we will make use of clone and we will add files to our project directory so i will be showing you out one more way so uh, if you follow the same scenario or how to make this uh previously if you do the same thing i think you should be getting an error uh the reason is uh previously while we are creating the root directory we did not created uh we did not created it using the parameter bear in uh, initially we thought it will uh give us a, a default bear directory so at the time we just gave or filled up only this uh, uh two right where is my name yeah uh, we have given our only these three parameters so apart from this if you are getting any error uh, just uh, go to this try to may, uh, fix this uh, core dot bear so you need to make sure that code dot bear equal to true on your root directory not in our working directory or the test uh, test folders you are cloning it up the main folder the main project folder go to that and check uh, whether you are having code dot bear equal to true or not if that is not true uh, just go and uh, uh, edit that so you know how to add the configuration right uh, we are we already added a user dot email and user dot name and push dot default in the same manner we will be using code dot bear and we will change that false statement to true so this is a test area this is a clone or workspace which was created by another user now i will be showing you out uh, the root directory so here you can see git config uh, hyphen hyphen list uh, and if you check here the core bin dot core i think where it is yeah yeah if you check here here is a parameter core dot bin equal to true so you, you we you need to make sure that our root directory had this core dot bear as a true 
so if you find this difficulty i will make one more video directly on making the bed directly uh, so it is a simple uh, command by uh, while we init uh, initiate our git repository there we will give a parameter like hyphen hyphen bed uh, where it will create the default code dot bed equal to true then uh, we can we don't get any error in case if you are getting error while pushing uh, just go and check this parameter inside your root directory and that's it uh, from my side also thank you and have a nice day